Hi everyone, I'm Ellie from Code of the Future and today I'm going to be unboxing my new Raspberry Pi that I've just received. So there were a few extra bits in this package as well. It was a bundle that I got, so a Raspberry Pi bundle. Uh, it's the Raspberry Pi 4 and I also got a little case as well in here. So the idea behind getting a Raspberry Pi for this channel is that one, I've never had a Raspberry Pi before. I actually went for an interview last year for a software engineering internship um, over summer because I am still a student and the guy that interviewed me said that he can tell that I love you know, coding and everything, and that he thinks I should get a Raspberry Pi. So that's kind of where I first started the idea of getting a Raspberry Pi, and obviously I love tech, so I thought incorporating this with everything else on my channel, I thought it'd just be a nice little touch. And also I've never actually had one before, so it's going to be quite a nice way of documenting kind of my progress, and for those of you that do watch my channel, it'll be nice for you to kind of watch what I'm getting up to, and if you do have a Raspberry Pi, my plan is to kind of get stuck into this and then release some projects, kind of cool projects that you can be doing with Raspberry Pis. I'm honestly so excited is to just uh, get started with it and release a few more videos on my channel. Obviously these these videos on the Raspberry Pi will probably be far and few between just because I am learning myself so um, it's not quite like where I can you know make up a project like that because obviously um, I'm very new with Raspberry Pis but that being said uh, the plan is to do a load of Raspberry Pi tutorials on my channel along with all the other tutorials that I'm doing as well to teach people how to code. So we're going to get straight into the video and I'm going to show you exactly what came in my uh, lovely box. <laughs> okay so the first thing that came in this box which I have already uh, slightly opened was the case for the Raspberry Pi. So if I just open this up, excuse all the noise. So this was actually a rainbow case so what I'll show you if I get it out. It's come in pieces. So the idea behind this case is you can kind of install it yourself and it adds that extra kind of element of, of building things with your Raspberry Pi. So this is the case, I have yet to kind of put it together but I will put an image on the screen right now of what it's supposed to look like. But as you can see there's oh, there's a few bits here and there and then um, a few kind of screws and stuff to put it all together. So the idea is this will keep the Raspberry Pi protected and obviously we want that because I don't want to <laughs> accidentally uh, break it or anything while I'm doing a tutorial. So that is the case, I'll pop that on the side. And then in this box here, so this is the bundle, so I'll pop that down there. So this is the Raspberry Pi bundle, it is the Raspberry Pi 4 and it's 8 gigabytes. and in here this is the bundle. So it comes with a few extra things like a micro SD card, controllable fan shims and a power supply as well. So it does come with a few extra bits and that's what I'm going to open up now and show you exactly what comes in this Raspberry Pi bundle. So this was actually incredibly reasonable, um, it was just under £100 for both this um, and the case, which I thought was a really good uh, deal. Obviously, it is the Raspberry Pi 4. You can get lower Raspberry Pis for a lot cheaper, uh, and they will essentially do the exact same thing. So, <laughs> okay, so here we have the fan shim for the Raspberry Pi, which looks like this. So that is the fan shim for the Raspberry Pi. And the idea behind this is that you can install it all yourself. So you can, you know, install the fan shim and everything onto your Raspberry Pi. And then obviously the case on top as well. So it's kind of already incorporating that element of building things. We then have a micro SD card, which I believe is 32 gigabytes, which you can see there. So that is 32 gigabytes. Now this here is the Raspberry Pi official USB-C power supply. And then if I just show you what's on the back, those are the features that come with this specific power supply. So if you're interested, you can just pause the video and have a look at those features there. It will take me a little bit of time to uh, explain everything, so <laughs> I'm just gonna keep the video relatively short and just show you exactly what comes in my um, package. And then we have here the Raspberry Pi Micro HDMI cable, which means you can plug it into a monitor like this one all the way over here. That's perfect. And then finally, the long-awaited um, unboxing is the Raspberry Pi 4 itself. So this is the, as you can see on the front here, just show you that. This here is the Raspberry Pi 4 computer. So it is a Model B 8GB RAM. Okay, so let's open it. <laughs> Honestly, I've already opened it and I got so incredibly excited about um, everything when I did open it. Okay, so here we have the Raspberry Pi itself and I'll just show you the front. And then the back is here. Okay, so this here is the gigabit, is the Ethernet where you can input an Ethernet cable into here. This is USB 2 and this is USB 3 here. And then this here is where the power supply will go. And these here are the HDMI cables. 
Okay, so this here is a more powerful processor and this is a new feature to the Raspberry Pi 4. So it has a more powerful processor. So this is the Raspberry Pi. So inside, inside here we have a safety and user guide and then on top of the box it does tell you exactly where to go, what website to go to to get started with your Raspberry Pi. But that's the video today, I've shown you the unboxing, it's very exciting, I'm honestly so excited to get started. As I said I haven't actually used a Raspberry Pi before so I'm so excited to just have this as you know my projects on a night now and hopefully get some nice projects. Um, released out to you on what you can do with a Raspberry Pi if you do have a Raspberry Pi. So this video isn't sponsored by any Raspberry Pi or anything. Obviously my channel is very small at the moment so I don't have any sponsorship or anything. But this Raspberry Pi I bought from Pi Moroni and I will put the link in the description box to where I bought this Raspberry Pi. If you fancy you know, getting a Raspberry Pi then you can get the exact same one as me. There isn't a lot different. If you do get different ones they're all you know practically the same because they are a Raspberry Pi 4 but I will put the link in the description box if you're interested in getting a Raspberry Pi. So as I said I'm incredibly excited to just start making you know some projects on this. I have honestly just fallen even more in love with tech and everything at the moment. Everyone has been so supportive on my channel and I just want to say thank you again to everyone who has. If you are new to this channel then my plan is to release videos every week and I'm hoping to after this to release hopefully two videos a week if uh, university deadlines and everything don't get too stressful amidst everything else but my plan is to release videos every week so subscribe so you don't miss out on a tutorial and if you like this video then please like subscribe and comment and I will see you all in the next video. So there's this trend that's been going around on TikTok where people have been sending, you know, entire scripts of Shrek and the B movie, entire films to their best friends or to their friends as a prank. So I thought as an introduction to automated text messaging, I would actually do a tutorial on how you can do that. But I would just like to say before I start this video, please use this responsibly. Don't go and uh, spam all of your friends because you may get your accounts blocked. Like